Hi all, this is the detail stage video and arguably this is probably the most boring video because I've got the temperature set, got my temperature of light, temperature of shadow, I've got my focal point set and you can see now I'm going into some with some of my favorite brushes. This one is the constructing brush, glazing brush and now I'm just correcting things that I uh, I wasn't really happy with so the shape of the kind of I guess the neck uh, or the bow of the uh, the boat I'm kind of correcting that a little bit to make it look a little bit more uh, like a serpent and so basically I've got texture in I've got my light in and as you see I just I just zoomed in really for the first time right now so the goal for me is to get a painting done uh, or get a painting within about 40 minutes to a place where my values are set, my colors are set, the temperature, the mood is set after about 40 minutes and then I can move into detail. So you can see I'm making the um, shields a little smaller on the boat bouncing around in kind of the focal point area and the focal point area is where I'm going to develop the most amount of detail again I've said this before but I'm playing with contrast throughout the painting a light side a dark side a warm side a cool side a hard edge a soft edge usually the hard edges for me are in the light softer edges are in the shadow and then I go with detail and rest and so within the focal point and develop a stronger focal point think of three things greatest area of uh, value contrast greatest area of hue saturation uh, and then the greatest area of detail so in the focal point is where I develop the detail to a much stronger point so I'm, I'm getting more detailed I'm starting to noodle within the focal point. As I move out of the focal point a lot of my uh, brush strokes will be a bit more um, suggested. Okay, And then my painting becomes a little bit more painterly or pa uh, painterly outside of the focal point. I have a painterly style anyway because I want my digital work to look a lot like my uh, traditional uh, work whether I'm working in casein or gouache or oils or acrylic. Um, I kind of want my digital paintings to have kind of the same feel and hand. So I bounce back from some of my favorite brushes. I'll use the the concept art chalk brush is what I'm using now. I really like that brush also. So those are brushes that I kind of save for the detail stage. So if I want some tight lines, I might go back in with the scratchboard tool and really get me some some hard lines in the um, again the focal point area so I bounce around with uh, different types of brushes I'll use the oily blender which I'm using right now to kind of give me a little bit more of a painterly feel with some of the strokes that I all have already set up so I jump back and forth from direct painting to blending some of uh, the work some of my favorite blenders are the oily blender the just add water and then the palette knife. So here I kind of zoom out. So I'm 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 zooming out and I'm zooming in to the painting to make sure that as I'm detailing it, I still have a a uh, consistent look uh, to the to the work. And really, it's just a matter of the you know I'm just I'm selecting some of my favorite brushes, working with the Sargent brush now because it has a little bit of a harder edge to it, and I like how it blends with what's underneath. And you know if I can get the painting to a stage of that I'm happy with within about 40 you know under an hour, you know if it's not a if it's not a good composition, if I haven't solved you know the the focal point and the compositions kind of weak um, I just start over but once I I have uh, within that 40 minutes to 50 minutes I, I generally say is the time that I try to give myself with the block in creating the mood then I know I can sit down for the next um, several hours if that's the case and sometimes it's only an hour more and the painting is finished um, 
So I've sped up the video a little bit here and in the others because this, you know, it's a, it's about an hour and a half or about a two hour painting, I guess, if I um, looked at not taking breaks and things like that uh, and from start to finish. And I wanted to create some shorter videos so you can see the process. So I've kind of sped it up and this is a good one to, to speed up because you know, it's just detail. It's a bit boring. I'm just going in and cleaning things up and, and making it look nice. And I'll just keep doing that for the next uh, time. And then this is how uh, it finishes out. So you can see the textures there, a strong focal point. I've added, you know, a lot more detail and things like that to the finished piece. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.